What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a prison nacho. I just got off work and I am starving. So I was like, yo, let me make this video real quick while I make something for me to eat. A win-win, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to get right into it after the intro. Roll it. prison channels have done their version of the prison nacho this is my version we used to eat this on the Super Bowl any move big movie nights usually like maybe twice a month so what we got here is we got your Goya this is gonna go in the soups we're gonna sprinkle that right on it we got these soups we're not using ramen soups we're using these cup of noodles two of them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer it it ain't just gonna be putting the chips on and then we put the, the rest of it on. No, we're going to put the chips on, then some vegetables, then the meats, the beans, then put some more nachos, soups, vegetables, meats, beans, cheese. Yeah, it's going to be layered nachos. So, hope you all ready. But what else we got here? We got the uh, summer sausage. I was looking for a turkey log, but all I could find was this. So, it's the same. It's same thing. You just want your meats. We got the Velveeta cheese. I'm going to be melting this in the microwave. It's going to be uh, put it on a spoon and spread it around. You got your green pepper. You got your onion. Well, half an onion. That's all I had right now. <laughs> so, most of these you can buy off commissary, except for the green pepper and the onions. These you're going to buy for somebody that works in the, uh, the kitchen. You buy them for like four stamps a piece, which is like a dollar. So that's how you get these. So I'm still going to use it. Then, of course, you got your chili beans. That's going to be a great topping. And I was thinking about going with Doritos. Nah. We're going to go with Food Line Nacho Cheese Flavored Chips. That's what we're doing. They don't sell Doritos in commissary, so we're going to get these. Of course, I got my coffee because I'm tired and I'm trying to wake up. So let me go ahead. We're going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to show you how I prepare this stuff. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put it all together. Well, I was going to go in the kitchen, but I couldn't find a good angle for the camera to get it while I was preparing everything. But while I was in there, I went ahead and prepared the chili. I put that on the stove. I went ahead and put hot, boiled some hot water, put it in the soup, so I'm letting that set. Drink some more of my coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the meat while all this is uh, waiting. So you want to cut it like so. Cut both ends off. I'm going to eat one. Because like I said, I'm starving. Um, I'm just cut it kind of thin. Maybe like a half inch slices on your uh, summer sausage or turkey log. And uh, just cut that. You want to take like three or four, probably three. And you just want to cut them some more, like little strips. Like that. Because these are going to go in your soups. Put that in a bowl right there. Make, the, make sure they're separated. Some people used to cut it both ways, but I don't do all that. <clears throat> I just cut them the way I want to cut them, you know? Bam. Bam. So you got those done. I'm going to eat another one. And then you want to move on to your green pepper. Those are going to go into this bowl. Some people don't like green peppers. I do. I like onions too. So, I feel like it gives it that flavor. And sometimes I'll cook them. I'll put them on the stove. But, 
That's only if I'm really trying to take my time making these, but it really don't make no difference. These I'm cutting in strips, but I'm also going to cut them like that. Cut them in little dices, I guess you want to call it. You know. I didn't get them all, but that's alright. <clears throat> so speaking of which, see that ever since I started uploading like my own content, <clears throat> people are talking about where the 60 days in videos. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, A&E put a stop to it. They were cool with it at first, then all of a sudden, saying I can't, I can't do them. Matter of fact, I got hit with a copyright strike today, so that, that's a that's dead. That's a wrap. So stop asking. I'm not doing them anymore. And if that's all you were here to see, and you want to feel like you got to unsubscribe, then you know do what you got to do. You're not hurting my feelings. For the ones that want to stay and uh, see what I got in store, please do so. I got a lot in store. Y'all want to do the negative comments? I'll ban you. You can, you can get off my channel. We don't need that around here. There ain't no more positivity around here. I've had enough negativity in my life. I don't need more. Even though I know it's to be expected from trolls and all that. But if I can control it, it ain't happening. So that's that. Alright, so. It'll be alright. I'm going to do the onion. And by the time I'm done cutting all these up, these soups should be ready. So what you want to do, you just cut them any old way. There ain't no specific way to cut these. Cut them how you like. I like to cut them like this. Bam. Oh, I'm going to start tearing up. I'm not trying to be so close to it. Oh, Sean ain't trying to cry on camera. Cutting some onions up. So we just do it like this. Bam. Bam. Real simple. I mean, it, it don't take a lot of time to prepare. And, uh, it's actually pretty good. It's really good. Cut these up, put them in here. I might just put some goy on this, too. I don't know yet. Just spray that on there. Right? Just a little bit. Take a knife, put it. I might want to get a spoon or something. Well, that should be good enough. Gonna spray that on there. All right. All right. I think these soups might be good to go. On my tattoo coloring book here. Let's see what we got. Now this is the beef flavored cup of noodles. That's the only kind I like. I mean, no, I like shrimp, but beef is my favorite. It looks like, no, nah, it's got to sit a little bit more. So in the meantime, I'm going to make the cheese. I got the Velveeta. Usually, uh, when I locked up, they sell the cup cheese. You know, it's just a big cup or a small cup. You scoop the cheese out. I couldn't find any, so I'm going to use Velveeta. Just cut a slice off or so. Use the hot water that I use for the cup noodles. I'm going to go ahead and make our uh, sauce. With this, if I can open it, he's about this much. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see what we get with that. I'll be right back. About that much. I don't know if you can see that. All right, that should be good enough right there. Let me go drain these soups, and then we'll get to making it. Show y'all how I get down. All right, so here's the meal. Everything's pretty much prepared. If you got a little bit, well, here's my meat. So, let me move this out of the way. Veggies, here's your soups. You want to put the soups in with the meat, right? So, put this bad boy in here. Bam, like that. Yeah. Put some more in here. It's a big enough bowl, hopefully. Now you got the meat in with the soup. 
kind of mix it up because then you're going to put your Goya in here then we're going we're gonna to start layering layering the nacho so you're going to take the rest of the Goya pack put it in here all right mix that up it seems like you got to add a little bit more Goya you know do what you do you can add some more all right, so I think that'll do it. All right, so that's your meats and soups right here. So we stir up this chili beans. This is still kind of hot, warm. Uh, it was good to me. Some coffee. So let's begin. Get your bowl here. You take your nacho chips. Bam, food line. Can't see that. I don't know. Food line brand. You want to put down a nice little layer. Ah, it's too much. Let's grab some of those out. You don't want too much. You know? All right. That's pretty good right there for now. That's your first layer. That's your base layer. So then you want to add your soup. You want to add the soups to it. Bam. All that. Get those going. I know it's gonna be a pain because I ain't cut it up, but try to get it off. Just want your base going down, okay? Maybe a little bit more. All right. Now one thing about this is you you might get bubble guts after this. You you might get that. So just letting you know. All right. Next thing you want to do, you want to add your vegetables, green peppers and onions. Bam. Spread it around a little bit. Look at that. Looking good. Add a little bit more. All right, so then you want to add your chili beans now. Yeah, put them on there. Bam. All right. A little bit. All right, save that for the next layer. Then, of course, you want to add a little bit of cheese. You want to sprinkle that on there. I said sprinkle. You want to spread it on there. Like this. Bam. Just, you know, real nice and easy. Get it on there. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. All right. So then what you want to do, you want to do the whole thing over again. You want to add another layer? Bam. Add some more nacho chips. Spread them out. You know. Make sure it's nice and even. Add the rest of the soup. Just dump it on there. You know. Spread that. Well, I tell you, this shit is good. I mean, uh, add the rest of your vegetables, right? Damn. Spread that on there. Woo-hoo! Well, I tell you. The rest of the chili beans. Man, oh man. Spread that a little bit, there ain't much left, but spread as best as you can. And then you add the cheese. Finish it all off. I'm not even gonna use my spoon, I'm just gonna dip it on there like this. Boy, look at that. Boy, look at that. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to clean these later. 
to have it. Get a close-up of this. That's your layered prison nacho right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We bang him. I'm going to save this for later. But believe me, I'm going to be tearing it up. So there you have it, guys. The layered prison nacho. Beautiful sight. Beautiful. I'm going to be tearing this up. But, uh, yeah, so... I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Like I said before, 60 Days In is over. So I hope you guys choose to stay and ride with me on this channel to Adventures Unknown. I got a lot of things to talk about. So I hope you guys would like to listen. So that's it for now. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys on the next video.